everybody, and welcome back to Overrealm 2.0, episode number 12, I, I think. Um, Alright guys, uh, we decided to take a little bit of a trip. The portal that we had by the base uh, took us to an awful spot in the nether. There was no base anywhere to be found, or nether fortress to be found anywhere at all. So, me and Tapkin decided to go for a run about a thousand blocks away. And we ended up spawning great, uh, I think it was just over here, yeah. So we spawned right next to a blaze, <laughs> a blaze spawner. So we came running in here to get away from all the blazes. Uh, Tapkin got took out, or taken out. And then you can see right in here. We have another blaze spawner. So yeah, we got a dual blaze spawner. Unfortunately, not close enough for us to be able to do anything with. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd explore the nether a little bit. See if there wasn't anything that we could uh, conjure from here. I've already taken a few things from the chests. I'm sure Tapkin found a few things as he was running around as well. And uh, I've been looking for these guys. Because I want to get a... Oh my god, look at them all. Oh crap. <laughs> I want to uh, get some wither skulls. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, my inventory is full. Uh, um, um. Okay, what don't I need? Uh, one clay. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Yeah, I want to get the uh, Wither Skull so that we can do a battle with the um, the Wither Boss. Where'd he go? There he is. And get us a beacon. It's the problem with these guys is they stand on the edge. Ah, sweet. That's two already. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm getting excited about this because normally this takes hours to try and get that many. Um, and I've already got two. So all we need is one more. And, uh, I want to get us a beacon. Because, uh, if we're going to start doing some mining, some slime chunks and stuff like that, then I want to have that kind of stuff handy. So, uh, you know, probably... Get a beacon going for the guys on the server. We'll uh, also see if there's anything we can do about um, digging out a slime chunk for them as well so that they'll have uh, access to that as well. That's just a recipe for disaster. All right, so I got a guy up here. Whoa, buddy. Calm down. Let's see if we can't get this guy here. Oh crap. <laughs> Where'd you go? Get back here. Oh no. And I'm on fire. Alright. We're good. And get nothing from him. I think I just saw three more. Uh, must have just put my eyes playing tricks on me. Yeah, so I found a few chests in here. You can see, like, I've got the gold ingots. I've already fought a few blaze. Um, well, one of the chests actually had another word in it. And what else did I get? The saddle and the um, horse armor I had. The gold horse ar armor I found. And I think that was pretty much it. So, right now it's just the hunt for the last skull. And see these guys usually spawn in areas like this where there's the intersection so but they always like to hang out on these ledges and I hate that so I'm hoping that we'll be able to find a, a couple more and get another wither skeleton skull just need one more so what I'll do I'll bring you guys back once I get my last one 
and uh, we'll see if there's something else that we can find in the meantime if I do get something uh, better like a different chest or something then I'll be sure to bring you guys back can I get out there I've never actually seen this kind of a generation before Wow that's weird I wonder if uh, that was Tapkin digging out <laughs> Probably was. Anyways, guys, I'll bring it back in a few seconds, and I'll have the third Wither Skull. Alright, guys, I'm in a fight for my life right now. I've got uh, stupid Blaze up there. I've got Blaze around here. I got attacked by two, uh, whoa, two Wither Skeletons, and yeah, it's not going very well, to say the least. So, let's see if we can get up here without dying. I don't even know if I actually have the uh, weather skull or not, but I'm just gonna get uh, hopefully somewhere safe. Where the hell did I come from? Right down here. All right. Oh crap! <laughs> Might as well get some more blaze rods. Need those for the eye vendor, anyways. Oh no! Alright. Gotta eat. Who's shooting at me? Alright, let's check the inventory. Now, still only got two. I'm gonna stay here and regen. Uh, they all caught me off guard. Just uh, three blaze coming out of nowhere, two wither skeletons, that stupid little magma cube. But uh, yeah, so they were hitting at me pretty hard. I'll bring you back in a little bit, guys, uh, again, if something exciting happens or when I get that last skull. See you in a few. All right. Uh, I don't know if this is interesting or strange. I just realized there's a chest sitting right up there. So I was actually just here. This is where I fought the, oh, God, Wither Skeleton, and there's a blaze up there somewhere. So I'm going to go back over and... Uh, See if I can't fight this guy. At least I'll be behind a wall. Okay. Anything else here? No. There's a blaze up here. Don't hit the pigman. No, oh, there was. Alright, cool. I want to... Uh... I held that chest go. Right here. I've never seen that before, ever. Just a random chest spawning on the side. Huh. Strange generation here. Alright guys, again, I'll bring you back in a few. Hey Wither, I'm looking for you. You bastard. Alright, I'll see you guys in a few seconds when I get that last skull. Or again, when this strange crap happens. <laughs> see you in a sec. Crap, holy crap. <laughs> Turn the corner and there's three of them and there's a blaze behind me. Stupid thing. <laughs> I ha I'm trying to hit the record button and I'm getting shot at and and it was for no reason. Didn't even get the stupid uh, wither skull. That's alright. I'm getting a ton of coal. <laughs> It's the reasons like this I love the nether. You just never know what's going to come your way. I want to continue going down this way. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back again. All right, guys. After about 45 minutes. There it is right there. The third one. Oh, look at that in its glory. Awesome. And uh, just in the nick of time, too, because I'm running really low on food. I've only got six steaks left. So what I'm going to do now is find my way out of here. I'm going to head back to the main base. And I'm going to show you guys uh, what I've done with the mine. I've um, actually printed it up and finished out the bottom part from what you guys saw before. So it's quite a bit different compared to what it uh, used to look like. 
So once I um, once I find my way out of here, I really can't remember the way. I keep running into it as I'm running around doing uh, my hunt here, but um, I'm sure it's down one of these ways here. I ended up lighting it up because, um, like you saw at the beginning of the episode, I have the blaze spawners there. So as soon as I find two of the blaze spawners, I should be all right. Um. Hey, Piggy. Where the hell am I going? Not this way. No, see, I was just here. You're no help. You're useless. All right, I think it's back this way. And what I did down in the uh, the base was, or the mining base, was just do um, a bit of a. Uh, a storage system. Um, I made the whole thing pretty by uh, dressing up the sides and making it look a lot more presentable. So, and it's just a little bit more inviting for uh, the server members to be able to come on to, and um, you know, it gives a a nice spot for people to start digging. And, uh, you can basically go all over the entire world from there. So, I hope I can make it across. Let's see. So far, so good. All right. Yeah, I'm going to take this way since I'm not going to go running through the entire base when I can already see it. But you can see where I was. Uh, this is where I'm spending the majority of my time was up there. And then there was a spot inside that would spawn them all the time. Uh, this one here, unfortunately, has the blaze spawner right next to it. Um... Crap, I'm gonna have to uh, plow my way through that. Won't be a problem, it's just with the randomly generated lava now. It'd be a pretty dangerous thing to do. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so you can see this is where we, uh, we came in here, right next to the boy spawners, so you can see they're always spawning. Uh, even when you light it up, it doesn't matter here because there's always a darkness level somewhere around here that they can spawn in. Um. Crap, that one guy fell off. Whoa! See what I mean? So, yeah, anyways, that's where we came in. Uh, let me out, let me out, let me out. There we go. Yup. The only problem is, is where the, uh, where this portal takes you is back to, uh, oh, awesome. Okay, I was going to say it takes you back to Tapkin's base. Um, but as you can see, when we came out here, we just put up on this island and it brought us to an ocean monument. So we killed two birds with one stone. We ended up finding another fortress when we went through and we found this when we were uh, pulling up here, we got our boats on the other side, I believe. Uh, now, nah, Tapkin probably took his back, but I've still got mine here. So, the boat ride's not too, too long. Um, where are we right now? 539 minus 1206, and we're probably about, uh, say, 0 minus 200 is where the, the base is at. So, yeah, about a thousand, twelve hundred blocks. Not too, too bad. So, I'm going to head back towards base, guys. And when I get there, I'll show you the mine. And I think we'll call it an episode there. I'll see you in a few. Alright, after a little journey, we are back towards Tapkin's base. I'm pretty much avoiding making a base since... Um, I'll wait until we start getting members on the server to see where they want to build and I might just uh, you know be the one to come on and help out with certain builds and you know give them tips on redstone and stuff like that if they want it and uh, go go from there you know I don't mind building but uh, just in case this is the spawn chunks so the only thing I'd have for uh, a ruling here is that there would be no building of houses in the spawn chunks. Um, 
you know that's where all the farms that you want running 24 7 to be so the iron golem farm uh the overworld gold farm you want those things running 24 7 because uh even when you're in a different chunk you don't have to worry about those things becoming unloaded and then uh, not having anything being produced especially an iron golem farm so as you can see i think uh last time i didn't have a door on there and what i ended up doing is um I've got a few things like I got to take out these little bits here and that little bit there but I used um, stone slabs some dirt and then the um, sugar cane and what I did is in behind here you can't really see it but there's a waterway that basically is using stairs one bucket of water per side and each one it drops down one level just like the stairs would and that one bucket drops all the way down to the very bottom and it keeps these moisturized and then it allows you to place this sugar cane on that block so like i said i've got a few more things to clean up around here but this is the general design i'm going to put lights behind each one of these and then when we hit down to the bottom you'll see that there's uh quite a bit of improvement done down here as well so we got the uh chest storage on the side here and you know, again this will be cleaned up put things back where they should be and I started digging a path straight down this way and then again a whole lot more chests because you're gonna be gathering up a ton of cobblestone uh, there was something I wanted in here name tag that's it but now I've got a lot of the ingredients like I've got the nether wart so I'm gonna probably just do a little bit of farming on that to gather for uh, doing potions I got 24 blaze rods to do the um, what do you call it the brewing stands so and we did get a pretty good chunk of uh, stuff that we're able to use and uh, you know I think this is actually gonna turn out to be really really good actually I didn't even realize I had mutton on me I could have stayed in the nether for a while longer but no big deal so we've got all this stuff here done got my wall of furnaces um, I don't know if I'll make it automated but I may turn uh, back here in this section maybe just do like a charcoal maker that way anybody who's down here you can just throw in a bunch of trees and make some charcoal and keep those furnaces going you don't have to worry about using up a ton of uh, resources but what you do find down here like in coal you can see it's in almost every row I don't think you'll have a problem with this furnace and um, you know you'll be able to make the stone with it so you can see here you just kind of keep going along and you know you dig a tunnel and skip a two blocks and dig another tunnel skip a few more blocks and that's basically what I've been doing so yeah this has been an amazing episode um, I'm gonna talk to Tapkin see if he wants to go back to the nether we're gonna go we'll fight the uh, the wither boss in the uh, in the nether we'll wedge his head into the the oh I always forget that word bedrock you're supposed to be docile what's going on that's right now just for that I'm gonna kill you bastard <laughs> yeah I put his head into the bedrock sorry and uh, we'll fight him that way oh yeah there's one other thing I don't think I've shown you which is that uh, it's just your basic mob drop it's nothing fancy it's been done before by a bunch of people uh, the only thing I'm gonna do to change this is uh, I'd like to have it be like five tiers high and just have it so that um, you can it would be on a, a like a hopper timer or something like that so there'd be dispensers that would put out water and push the mobs off so that you're not sitting here waiting like you are for this I set this up earlier today and just in the time that uh, somebody's been on the server like not in the, uh, the nether that's basically what we've gotten so um, not bad for XP or anything either so I mean you can sit here and hack away at that and grab yourself a few XP points and the cool thing I, I wanted to build it out of glass because I wanted you to be able to see the faces when you're sitting here kicking the crap out of them so 
Yeah, everybody should be a one-hit kill. Some of them will come down and die just because, uh, well, spiders especially, because they sometimes hop, and uh, this is a 23-block drop, and if they hop at the end, it makes a 23 uh, because there's a water path pushing them off. If they happen to hop right at the very end, then... Uh, what the hell? These guys are creepy looking, by the way. And if they hop off the end, it makes it 23, and then that'll kill them. So, You, sir. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking at you. I heard these guys can see that you're looking at them up to 60 blocks away. The only problem is, is I've got uh, a looting sword, but it has fire aspect on it as well. There's two of them. Nice. Yeah, the fire aspect makes them run away. So unfortunately, the sword that I have isn't the greatest for being able to get the ender pearls. Right now, I think we've only got two um, and I used one to do an ender chest so not really concerned about going to the end right now again that's something I'd like to keep with uh, for the members to be able to do I don't want to be doing all the battles and stuff like that so when you come onto the server there's nothing to do anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this episode I had a ton of fun making it and getting all the uh... <laughs> oh boy and nothing. Yeah, I, I had a ton of fun making it and getting all the wither skulls. That I've always loved doing that. It's one of the best kinds of farming to do out there. There's not much you can do to make the farming any easier. You make a big platform and run around and kill them. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I had lots of fun. Hopefully, we'll be doing the wither battle soon and we'll get uh, Beacon going. In the meantime, you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Yeah.